Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to set up SEF, so search engine friendly URLs in Joomla using the .ht access. So I'm just going to load my Joomla site here and show you why this is important. And now I'm just going to load a features page here, just a random page in my site. And you'll see that when you load a page in a standard Joomla website, like a fresh installation of Joomla, in the address bar here, this is how it represents that page. It'll put in your site.com, but then forward slash index.php. And then it's got all this other stuff like a question mark, option equals com content view article. Basically, it's a very bad way of representing the URL for the page. This is not very good for search engines and it's not very good for people because they can't understand what that means. So what we want to do now is change it so that these are search engine friendly URLs. So basically, instead of saying that, it's going to list the category and article title up the top here and the section. So to do this, you need to log into your Joomla administration and then click go to site here and you want to go to global configuration. So once it loads, it should be on the site page here and you should be able to tell that because that's black and got an underline. And you'll also see these SEO settings here. Now with the fresh installation of Joomla, they're all set to no. So now we want to edit these to all be all yes. But you'll see there's a little yellow caution mark here. It says warning, Apache users only. And if you're using Hostgator, you're fine. It uses Apache. And it tells you you need to rename the htaccess.txt file to .htaccess before activating this. So I'm just going to do that first before I tick all these to yes. Otherwise, that's not going to work and it actually stuff up my site. So the first thing you want to do is rename that file. So now I'm just going to minimize this, my browser, and open FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla yet, there's a tutorial on my page under Tools and then FTP Clients and how to use FileZilla. I'll show you brief, briefly how to use it, but for a better tutorial on how to use FileZilla, use that one. So here, you just want to put in your host name. So this will be ftp.yoursite.com. Then your username and password for the FTP account. You'll need to create an FTP account to be able to use it, and you should have by now. If you haven't, there's also a tutorial on my site. If you go to creating and then cPanel, and then just come down to set up FTP accounts, and I'll show you how you set up FTP accounts in cPanel. And if you sign up with HostGator, your website does use cPanel. Okay, so if I come back to this here, I'm going to use a quick connect, which I've previously connected to. And it'll connect here. It'll tell you when it's done by saying successful. Directory listing successful. Now I've got mine. When I created my FTP account, you have the option to tell it which folder it will use as its main folder. In my case, I just used my um, public HTML folder, which is my main website files folder. That's all explained in the other tutorials if you don't understand what I meant then. Okay, so these are all the files for Joomla. And if you scroll down to these list of files, you'll see there's a file called htaccess.txt. So just scroll down until you find this one. It's in alphabetical order, so it should be easy to find. Now what we want to do is right click this and click rename. And remember it asked us to rename this to .htaccess. So I'm going to remove this .txt on the end and put a full stop at the beginning. And then I'm just going to click anywhere else in this here. And that should rename it. So now to confirm that, you'll have to scroll up again because now that it's got a full stop at the beginning, it'll be listed first. And you can see it's right there. So once you've confirmed that, come back into Joomla. And you can tick these three SEO settings to yes. And now click apply. And it should say that the details have been updated. Now, if I come back to my site here and click features again, this should change how this is displayed. I'm just going to go home so that it refreshes all the links. 
Now I'm going to click this again. Okay, so now it's working. You can see instead of saying all that weird stuff before, it's mysite.com forward slash features, which is what this page is called. Now let's load one that's in a few categories to see how it displays category. Like if you load a article or a page that's, that's saved into a category, which is under a section. So I'm just going to go more about Gemma. Project. Okay. I just loaded the platforms and open standards article. And now instead of saying that index thing with all the weird com ID numbers and everything, it now says more about Joomla forward slash 25 the project forward slash 23 platforms and open standards. So that's much easier to understand than the way they had it. So that's how you enable SEO settings for Joomla. And that'll display much better URLs than the standard settings. So that's how easy it is to set up Joomla SEO settings. So all you had to do is rename that file first using FileZilla. So you want to rename the htaccess.txt file to just .htaccess and then activate all these to yes and click apply or save. So that's all for this video. If you're watching this on YouTube and the video helped you, please thumbs up and subscribe.